a high VC. Just, I feel so ashamed of my teeth. And just let me put in my new false teeth so I feel more confident. Mm. That's better. I've got a firm and smile too. Uh, well, I think I'll just take them out for now until I get used to them. <sighs> yes, um, I was thinking about uh, <clears throat> pumping vinyls live stream. I missed it because I live in a different time zone. We're a day ahead of the US. And when it's night there, it's day here, etc. But I caught the arse end of it and watched it on repeat. It was great. You know, yes, I've often suspected that um, uh, William could be Davy Strange's name, but then sometimes I think it's Alan, Static Traveller. But it's probably best we don't really know who Davy Strange's name is. Um, he might have a good reason not to appear on screen. Um, Talking about the vinyl community, um, I don't believe in um, such a thing. I think it's rubbish. If there was such a thing um, at the top, the king or the Kaiser would be uh, Michael 45 RPM. Um, then working your way down, you know, to the lower levels, um, John Winston Ono, Bono, Bowie, Sinatra, you know, it's just not, that's pointless. The only bit I'm interested in is, is the um, bridge where all the trolls live underneath, you know. And, oh, look at this. Now, I've got to admit, I've been, um, I was like a friendly troll and um, also a VCLT type guy. I sent a lot of records to the USA when uh, the postage was relatively cheap and um, a lot of the ones I sent records to I never heard from again and their tubes, their videos are gone and, it's all a waste of time, but that was like 12 years ago. Um, but yeah, and but one of the first ones I subbed to was a, um, a French um, Fred Big Star 1000, a French guy that's been living in Melbourne, Australia for a long time. And uh, I've watched him sort of go from being a fresh faced youngster to a, an old grey bearded old kid. It's quite. Strange life. I'll tell you now, I'm 73, and you, you, when you're young, you think life is a drag. When you get to my age, you just go, fuck, life is so bloody short. So, I'm um, cutting to the chase. Um, uh, yeah, I was a big fan of it, and I still am. I don't watch that many of his videos because uh, in my old age, I just haven't got time for um, trying to pick up on new stuff. But this is one he recommended. Um, <clears throat> And I love the cover of this. Um, Bonnie Colock, After All This Time. It looks a bit like that, um, what's the name? The one that um, had a big hit? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, there's the back. And look at this. Ovation Records. Channel 4, I remember that. New compatible stereo quadraphonic sound produced on EV Stereo 4 system. It's worth having this, and I got it for peanuts. It's worth having this because it's, it's, it's sort of like, it's a snapshot of a certain time. Um, <clears throat> you know, the typical bunch of hippie, useless hippie, folky types. At least there's a guy with an afro there. Um, She's even written on here, uh, up there. So whoever owned this before me's ticked um, one, two, three, four, five, six songs. So um, just trying to look for anyone that's famous. Phil Upchurch on bass. Well, I know that name. I mean, it's a good album, but it's just not my cup of tea. I I'm, I'm just not into, um, well, you know, good taste, really. Um, and there's a label. Mm. 
ovation quadraphonic it's got one scratch running right through it which i have played it and you don't notice it but you can hear a little bit of click here and there it's one of those ones where there's no spindle wear whatsoever it's one of those ones where you think someone's gotten revenge and i uh, thought well let's just i mean who knows so there you go i don't know i think this probably would have come out around 71 or when did quadraphonic come in i can't remember probably around then yes because uh, i went to uh, my boss my, one of my my second job i ever had and um a german guy peter shah taught me my craft which got me through 30 almost 40 years of, because i left school that zero with zero um record qualifications i was expelled and uh, but he had the only person i've ever known that had a quadraphonic system was Dita. and um i went around to his house a uh, flat unit and um met his lovely wife and and he he, but he could only buy i think it was two albums or something uh one was imagine john lennon um unfortunately that's the one he played i think he only probably had two but i didn't like quadraphonic right from the word go it was because it's it's unnatural you know there's like there's a drum back there and a guitar over there and a bass and it's supposed to it's not surround sound you know people think oh it's surround it's not if you went to a concert it'd be like going there with um that creep mick jagger sort of standing over there keith richards up there it's just wrong but um anyway that's enough for today hey um well um yeah that's it that'll do bye